I'll quickly show you how to create this in After Effects. And I would just want to take a moment to tell you that we have unlocked the community tab. I want to take this channel more interactive than ever before. And I already posted on the community tab. You can go and check that out and select the topic that you are interested in the most so that I'll be able to serve you better and I'll be able to know what kind of content you like and push out that content you like in this channel. All right, without any further ado, let's start the tutorial right away. So assuming that you have already imported the image that you wanna use, I'm gonna drag and drop it inside this and create a new solid, which is white, hit OK. And I'm gonna grab this rounded rectangle tool and selecting on the white solid that we've just created, double click and double click here on the on the mask and you can even change the color of the mask to see that better and scale this down a little bit like this hold down shift control and alt so that it scales from the middle like this right go down here and set this to subtract you can hit control k on the keyboard and rename this to picture one or image one, whatever you want, hit OK. And I'm going to back to the main composition, which is this. And I'm going to drag and drop this picture one inside the composition. And I'm going to drop another texture, which is the background, this one. Shut off the eye for that. And make this both layers a 3D layer and rotate it. By the way, if you hit W, that brings up the rotation and rotate it like this. And maybe even scale it a little bit down like this. And shut off the eye for the pick one. And I'm going to scale it down. Something like this, right? Once you have done that, let's go ahead and create a camera. So I'm going to be using an 18 millimeter camera. Hit OK. Just after creating the camera, I always like to create a null object for the camera controller. So we'll do that right now. So layer, new, and null object, and which is a 3D layer as well, and parent the camera to the null. So simple as that, right? So let's change this to full. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. So control D to duplicate, and hit P on the keyboard, and move it in the negative values because the photos will be stacked on top of each other. So we'll be at negative values, right? So I'm gonna duplicate another copy, Control D, hit P to bring up the position and notch it up slight. And what I'm gonna be doing is rotate the photos randomly like this so that we don't have the exact same photos every time we duplicate, all right? So Control D, to duplicate and I'm gonna move it a little bit up and even rotate that one more time. All right, that's how I stack the photos on top of each other. I'll stick with these four copies. You can go as long as you want. All right, guys, we are not done yet here. We are gonna refine the look of the design. All right, guys, before we move on to that, let me go ahead and drop this paper on top of this. Make this a 3D layer as well, like we did before. Hit S and scale it down. Place it somewhere at the bottom here. And what I did was added a text, right? So change this to black and make this a 3D layer as well. Copy the position of this Control C to copy and paste it here, right? So make it small, 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 small. And you can even make this rectangle bigger than what it is right now. Let's go ahead and create that shadow, so, right? So Layer, new, and I'm gonna create a light, which is a spotlight and intensity 100, and make sure to check these cast shadows. Hit okay. And right now we don't see any shadows on the on this photos, right? So let me grab all this, select the top, hold down shift, and select the last layer. Hit AA on the keyboard and you can turn on these cast shadows on. And we're not done yet, guys. I'll show you another way to make it more realistic and push this design more further, right? So 
stick till the end of the video i'll show you exactly how to make it more realistic so one more thing i want to tell you is that you can go go inside this light double click on the light and you can control the amount and the intensity of the shadows here if you wish let's say for example if you want to increase it to 80 okay you can see that it's more intense so right now i'm gonna decrease it to maybe 70. the final step to make it more realistic is go and turn on the depth of field as always right turn on this depth of field and let me tell you guys if you turn on the depth of field it's gonna be it's gonna take a while to render this out so make sure to once your depth of field is set you turn off and make the changes and once you're done you just turn this back on you can render that right so the final thing i added was a layer overlay here make this a 3d layer as well and what i did was set this to screen and hit p on the keyboard and move it above and you know reposition it here that is how simple and easy it is to create this kind of effect so if you want to change the image let me show you how to do that real quick so once you're done with this you can go and duplicate the composition which is this Control d to duplicate go inside this select this pick one Control d to duplicate so now it's pick two go inside this pick two but it's the same exact photo so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drag and drop a new photo here and maybe shut off the eye for the previous one scale it up to fit the composition let's go back to number two let's select all these pre-comps and select this two hold down alt and drag and drop it on that and you have that that is how you can change your image within few seconds, all right? I hope you learned something from this. Make sure to check out these two videos as well. This is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video. Take care.